With Tower Defense Simulator being so popular, it's naturally spawned a lot of fake imitations. So I decided to play some of these cursed TDS games to compare them to the real thing. This first game captured a lot of the more negative aspects of these TD games, being a pretty straightforward attempted clone. The map is very blocky and pretty low quality, and it has some awful lighting. But more importantly is the gameplay. I saw and joined the Gladiator event to hopefully get the event tower. On my way, I did notice that unlike Tower Defense Simulator, this game had literally no UI, so I was unsure how exactly I would use towers. And loading into the game, the actual map is pretty similar to the original from TDS, except made in a much exaggerated scale. And although the UI had appeared, it wasn't exactly the greatest. However, by far the biggest problem is the speed of the zombies. Now this is something even the big tower defense games can get wrong, but this is by far the worst I've ever seen, with the first wave taking 143 seconds, as opposed to 10 or so for the real tower defense simulator. The towers themselves were somewhat accurate recreations, but after another 105 seconds on wave 2, the slow pace was just too much, and I left the game. So the next game was definitely of higher quality, a roleplay game with morphs of several towers, and although some of these vary in quality, the majority are actually good recreations. There's also some pretty nice animations, like how the commander will stand on his iconic footstool when you idle, or how the DJ will play his turntables, and some different towers even have different walk speeds. Additionally, there is a decent selection of some fairly well made maps, although they're not very accurate to TDS. However, there is one problem here, as since this is a roleplay game, the gameplay here is pretty much non-existent, with the focus being more on the social aspect. But for what it is, I think it does have some very good recreations of the TDS towers. And although that was surprisingly good, things took an immediate turn. This game has no lobby and just sends you straight in. The map is incredibly basic, with only a simple path and a few low poly structures. But the real draw is the towers, as you get a total of 14, including some very very rare towers, such as the removed sentry, the dev only war machine, and the rarest tower in the game in commando. But there is a slight problem in the placement, as when moving the tower, it falls to pieces. You can also place towers literally anywhere, including on the path itself and on cliffs. The towers themselves function fine, and the UI is outdated but serves its purpose. The game also has 60 waves, something which hasn't been seen in TDS since the mega update in 2019. And the game also features several removed enemies, such as the 24 4 carrots and the golden titan, and I actually ended up losing on wave 60, where instead of restarting, you are kicked from the game so the server can regenerate. But what if in TDS, you didn't just place towers, but you could actually become them. Frontline defense is essentially a TDS themed FPS, where you upgrade towers while playing as them to get stronger weapons. Normal zombies are normal, but the special properties of the TDS zombies carry over, such as the speedies moving faster, the heavies being stronger but slower, and the boss having much higher health. Unfortunately, Actually, with only the beginner towers, I was pretty weak. Sniper does a lot of damage, but the reload time is way too long. Scout has an extremely slow fire rate, and Soldier only has 3 shots in a magazine, so pretty similar to the actual game. And just like if you used these towers in TDS, I ended up dying on wave 9, as a feature of the game is that zombies can stop targeting you and instead attack your base, which I was unprepared for. So finally, I decided to return to TDS using the most cursed loadout I could come up with, with 5 of the worst towers in the game, and I attempted to get a fallen wind. Now out of all these towers, the only one I thought was somewhat decent was Hunter, as it's pretty cheap and does okay damage. So in a quad up game on medieval times, I focused on placing and upgrading it while one teammate farmed and the other two placed some of their own towers. We had a range in quality from freezer and sniper to commander and military base, and mainly thanks to that military base, we killed the first of the abnormal bosses on wave 10, and then upgrade hunter to level 3 on wave 11, also having said to strong targeting, better optimize the low fire Rate. This in combination with level 2 military base easily let us kill the hiddens. And in wave 15, I decided to get a demo man mainly for the splash damage, and things were looking up as my team placed DJ, militants, and pyromancers. But of course, in wave 20, the fallen scum. And with no real standout DPS tower, we ended up leaking one of the zombies and taking a bit of damage. But unfortunately, in wave 21, even more of them spawned. One teammate used the commander's call of arms ability, but even that wasn't enough. And with the military bases on cooldown, we lost the game in wave 22. I definitely think I got the cursed TDS experience with a wide variety of quality in these games. So yeah, consider subscribing.